continuing our series of books on leaderships. If you'll forgive me, I'm going to recommend one of my own books today. This is The Artist's Journey. It's uh, one of my newest books. Um, you know, when we think about leadership, we usually think of some leader imposing leadership concepts on uh, those who follow. But there's such a thing as self-leadership, where the enemy is ourselves, is our, our own tendency to procrastinate, our tendency of, to uh, doubt ourselves, uh, perfectionism, arrogance, impatience, all those things that stop us from achieving what we want to achieve. And I know people think sometimes that Beethoven just sat down at the piano and suddenly wrote the Ninth Symphony. But it's not true at all. The artists, and anybody who sat down at a keyboard and faced a blank page knows that the artist's inner war is one of the most horrendous things you ever want to confront. And this book is about the journey that the artist takes. And it is a journey because I can tell you from my own experience that you can go for years and years where you can't do it. No matter what you try, you cannot do it. And then all of a sudden, you turn a corner and you can do it. And not only can you do it, but you can really do it. And the whole process is a journey, like the hero's journey. And the artist's journey is that journey once we have found our calling. Once, for in my case, once I know I'm a writer. Once somebody else knows they're a dancer. And it goes right down to, to being other things, an athlete, a warrior, a mother. Once you've kind of found that calling that you're aiming at, a different journey starts. And that's what this book is about. It requires the same virtues that we need in other kind of leadership. Um, Self-restraint, uh, self, self um, self-confidence, courage, the ability to um, uh, forestall um, gratification, and many, many other virtues. So anyway, this is it. The artist's journey is a kind of inner leadership about the inner war that we all fight trying to come into our own as artists and creators and just as human beings.